Welcome back to part two of the series where we calculate the vapor pressure of a solution containing a non-ionic and non-volatile solute. The solute that we used in question one was sucrose. And in question two, we have ethylene glycol. The question reads, calculate the vapor pressure at 25 degrees Celsius of a solution containing 55.3 grams of ethylene glycol and 285.2 grams of water. The vapor pressure of pure water, just as in question number one, was 23.8 torr at 25 degrees Celsius. To do this question, we'll need to use Raoult's law, and that law relates the vapor pressure of a solution to the mole fraction of the solvent and the vapor pressure of the pure solvent. So the pressure of the solution is equal to the mole fraction of the solvent, which in our case is H2O, times the vapor pressure of pure solvent, which is 23.8. What we have to do is find out the mole fraction of H2O. The only difference between this question and question one was the solute. Here we use sucrose, so we can actually borrow a lot of information that we used in question number one. Remember that this is the mole fraction of H2O, and that's calculated according to question number one like this where we have the number of moles of water per the number of moles of water plus the moles of our solute. Here we had sucrose, but now we have ethylene glycol. To find the number of moles of water, and I'll rewrite that formula for simplicity's sake, so the mole fraction of the solvent is equal to the moles of water. Let's focus on that. The molar mass of water is 18.02 grams per mole, and that can easily be found using your periodic table by finding the individual molar masses of the atoms contained in water. And I'll multiply this by the mass of water, which is given in the question. So I'll flip this around, one mole per 18.02 grams, multiply that by 285.2 grams. This unit and this unit will cancel out. So at the top of my formula, I'll have these two divided. Let me go ahead and do that right now. 285.2 divided by 18.02, and that's 15.8268. That's the number of moles of water. I'll write it down again underneath, because we need to eventually add this to the moles of ethylene glycol. The molar mass of ethylene glycol, that should read ethylene glycol, and this should be moles. We have one mole at the top and 62.07, grams at the bottom being multiplied to its mass, that was 55.3, and we get the moles of the solute. This unit and this unit cancel out. Let's use our calculator, 55.3 divided by 62.07, giving us 0 0.809. I'll add this to this number, the one that I'm hovering over, plus 15.8, two, six, eight. That's the denominator of my fraction. And I'll take this number and divide it by that. One, five point eight, two, six, eight, divided by the number that I just found. I'll click answer to retrieve that. And I get 0 0.9467 as my mole fraction for the solvent. This is the formula that we have to use to find the pressure of the solution. So I take this number now, and multiply it by 23.8. 23.8. This gives us a new pressure of the solution at 22.53. 22.53, and rounded to three significant figures. We should stop writing after this five, and the units are tor. So what I'm highlighting right here is the pressure when ethylene glycol is added, namely 55.3 grams of it. That's the answer to question number two. If you'd like to see the solution to question three, make sure you watch question three of the series, the final part. We'll see you soon.